So today we're doing a review of the uh, HM Digital TDS meter. It's the model number uh, TDS-4TM. Uh, this meter is for measuring total dissolved solids in water. And uh, when you have a filtration system like this for stage, which has a uh, de deionization filter. Here you have a reverse osmosis filter, a charcoal filter, which also uh, filters out pore size, uh, etc. Then um, uh, you want to make sure the filters are still working and that the water that's coming out is still pure. Uh, eventually the filters have to be replaced but if you don't have some way of testing the water that's coming out to tell whether it's uh, filtered or not if the filters are getting old and they're not working as well if you don't know that then uh, either you're going to replace the filter too soon and waste money or you're going to be using dirty water that you think is filtered but isn't so this thing has a lot of uh, features. It's got a built-in thermometer. If you want to measure the temperature of the water, it automatically will compensate for the temperature of the water when calculating the total dissolved solute concentration. So you don't have to worry about that. That's automatic. But if you want to know what the temperature is, you press a button there and it converts it to a thermometer. So I'm going to take this out of the package. And I'm going to set it aside for a minute. And I'm in the process right now of filtering water because I just replaced some evaporated water loss in my reef tank. And I need to replace water from my 30-gallon uh, clean water reservoir. So this is the water that's coming out and we'll let this uh, fill up into the cup so this is straight out of the filter now and when I get it to about two inches high I'll put that meter in there you see and I'll be able to measure just how well that filter is working So, a little bit more. You can hear my condensate pump going off <laughs> in the basement. Okay. So that's about deep enough. Put that back there. So, you take the cap off and you press the on off button once and you can see it reading zero right now zero parts per million now I'm going to put it in the water and I'm going to stir it around a little bit now you can't immerse the thing too deep because it'll uh, damage the electronics in there so you only want to go in about an inch and a half two inches maximum so once it's stabilized at a reading you you can press hold and it'll start flashing at what the reading is so right there you can see it's reading zero uh, the last time i tested what was in the bucket itself it, it had read one part per million now it's reading zero but this is coming straight out of the filter so i know that this water is pure now one of the things is the instrument comes pre-calibrated from the factory and they say you don't have to calibrate it um so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to measure the uh parts per million or total dissolved solutes in the water that's coming straight out of the faucet.
So let's pause it here for a minute. Ready? So I had to go upstairs to fill this cup with water from the faucet because this faucet's currently tied up filtering water for the reef tank. So this water is straight from the faucet. So same thing, put it in, stir it a little bit to make sure it's even. Oh, I still have it on hold. So I'm gonna take the hold off and I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on, put it back in. I'll wait for it to stabilize. Right now it's reading 64. I'll press hold. When it's on hold again, it'll flash. And uh, you can see the number 64 flashing. So at, at the moment I've got 64 parts per million total dissolved solid, solids from the uh, tap water. I've got zero coming out of the filter. So I know my filter's working. I know exactly how much total dissolved solids are in my tap water at the moment. Uh, that's actually very soft water. That's, uh, that means there aren't a lot of total dissolved solids in, in the tap water. Uh, and, uh, but uh, I found it necessary to add this stuff called equilibrium when I'm mixing up uh, water for my planted aquarium because it's really too soft for the fish and, uh, and, and even the plants want a little bit of total dissolved solids in the water. And what's coming out of my faucet is on the low side. So I boost it up with this equilibrium. Um, without this, uh, I used um, this thing over here. So basically it's a API's general hardness and carbonate hardness test kit. And uh, the general hardness on this test uh, uh, was read as three, which is in the ballpark of the same uh, reading of uh, 64 parts per million. Um, uh, there are conversion factors you can look up that will convert from parts per million to uh, uh, carbonate hardness and general hardness of the water. Uh, there are different units of measurement that measure how much is in the water. And uh, this is just two different ways to get that measurement. And uh, I can tell that I'm in the ballpark there. They, they are agreeing with one another. Now let's, uh, one last thing was the temperature thing. So if you needed a quick reading of the temperature of your water or your aquarium, you could switch it to temperature. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off for a second, turn it back on and press temperature. I'll put it in the water, stir it up and it's reading, well, I'll wait for it to stabilize. So it's stabilizing at around a little over 17 degrees centigrade, 17.2. Um, now 17.3. If I if I press temp again, it will switch it to 63.2 Fahrenheit. So I, I I just pressed it on hold the hold button again to lock that reading. Well, actually, it's uh, it looks like yeah 63. Point two. So um, it's a useful tool. It seems accurate it, in, in the sense that it is zero is kind of what I would expect to get out of these this four stage filter uh, and this the 64 parts per million is about what I would expect to get from my tap water given I measured it a different way with the general hardness test and that's correlating with this. Uh, if I really want to be super accurate, uh, one, I can buy a, 
um, calibration solution. Uh, the makers of this uh, digital probe uh, have a 342 part per million calibration solution. So you put this in that water, it should say exactly 342. If it doesn't, there's a little calibration screw in the back. So you take a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver and you turn that screw right or left or clockwise counterclockwise until it exactly measures 342 and then you know your your instruments calibrated but given I've got an initial reading with my pre-calibrated uh, instrument I know it's zero coming out of the um, filter when it's working right and I know it's 64 coming out of the faucet if if that changes, uh, if they both change, then I'm going to question the calibration of the uh, instrument. But if j just one of them changes, let's say uh, I'm getting 25 out of the filter, but it's still 64 out of the sink, I'm going to I'm going to suspect that my filter's bad. Uh, or if that's still zero here, and maybe it's 55 or 65 or 75 on the uh, tap water, uh, I'll probably still think it's the tap water that changed a little bit. But if they both change, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna suspect my calibration, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some calibration solution, which if I really wanted to be super picky about it, I probably should do anyway. But uh, for my purposes, I think this is good enough uh, being able to check that I'm getting zero and 64 uh, measurements out of the two different sources and if that remains consistent I'll be satisfied.